here's the city view from my new room. I don't even know what city we're in, but it's been torture today. This is my new room. And it's not the palace, but it's a clean bed and a shower, a hot shower. Um, oh my God, you have no idea what we've been through today. Look at this bathroom. It's that kind of bathroom that you have to use a squeegee on the floor where the shower just goes on the ground. Good thing I got training up for that in Egypt. So last night I told you we were done with the festivities and I woke up this morning. Of course I was sick last night. I told you I was really sick and I put a whole bunch of thieves oil on by Young Living and went to sleep and woke up still not feeling good. A little better, but you know how you feel better in the morning and then it gets worse. Well, I got a phone call that we needed to dress up to go to this temple. I was not planning to dress up, so I had to put on another sari. And I was just like, oh my God, are you serious? We're going to be in that car for eight hours and I'm going to be in a sari. That really sucks. I shouldn't have spoke so fast. I thought I was done with the saris and the ceremonies, but we are going to... What is that temple? We're going to a temple today, which I knew... Uh, it's a famous one. Oh my God. It's one of those mornings I need to pack. I was going to wear something that was easy and casual and I found out I had to put on a sari. Oh my gosh. We are going to Brahma Temple and it's the only one in the world. And it's a dressy temple and so I've got to put on another sari. And you know, I wasn't feeling well last night. I feel a little better today, but hopefully that'll stay. And I'm trying to pack and so we can check out. I just wasn't expecting to get back into the Indian sari mode, but that's what I'm doing. So I'm getting ready to leave this palace. And um, I guess next time you see me, I will be somewhere else checking out. But you know, you gotta go with the flow. You gotta do what you gotta do. So I did, and I'm concerned that there are mosquitoes in this. I'm concerned that there are mosquitoes in this room. I really don't need that. Um, so anyway, we took this bus ride to this temple. It took forever to get there. I don't know how long, maybe three hours, four hours. I don't know. Thanks for asking. I mean, it's like a very old temple. I guess it's supposedly... I'm sorry, I'm trying to catch this mosquito. Nobody needs mosquitoes. I hope I got it. So, anyway, went to this temple and it was a crazy city. Like, it looked kind of cool because it had all these vendors and stuff. See these wild boars? Camels. Oh, a little baby wild boar. Yeah. Past him. This camel here. In Egypt, they don't use camels on carts like that. They don't. They use donkeys. Are you taking a video? Yeah. Oh yeah, I see you taking more. What do you put this one in the 
one you're going to cut up because it has me in it. Yes. You're like, what is that? Toes? <laughs> Has toes on it. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but you could tell the people were kind of slimy. I don't know. I shouldn't say everybody, but because they weren't all. I shouldn't say that. energetic feeling about the place but it was kind of cool because they obviously treat I, I don't know if they treat the, the cows better remember they they worship the cow and if any if a cow crosses your path you're supposed to let the cow I mean you're supposed to wait for the cow to move I saw this guy like beating on this cow to get out of the way and I thought wow that's how you um, worship your cow I was really shocked and um but anyway, the cows seemed to have more food there and they weren't eating all the trash and stuff. So. It was just, a, it was a whole different feel from Shapur. I don't know. I'll find out what the name of that place was. And we went to the Braham Temple, which is the only one in the world. And I was really expecting some grand temple that we had to, because we had to dress all nice for it. But everybody was just in their regular clothes. And here we were all standing out like sore thumbs. And, um, which wasn't good because then they just thought we were rich Americans and, you know, it, that just, that's a whole nother thing. But what, we had this experience. That <clears throat> we went to first this temple on the lake. I don't know if it's called Lake Temple. I'll find out what it is and put it on the video. But it was really beautiful. It's these stairs that go down to this lake and it's huge. <laughs> <clears throat> they've kind of built up around it and people were, were there bathing in it <clears throat> bathing in it and receiving blessings and um, my friends were supposed to get their some kind of ceremony but they were supposed to get it in the other temple and it turns out no one does blessings there so they were doing it there they separated all of us I was asking them if I could take pictures of them because I could just see their back I was at the top of the stairs and oh yeah you can take pictures just be careful that you don't um, take pictures of the women with their clothes off bathing, which I doubt any women are going to be in that water with their clothes off because that's just not, I mean, they're very modest here. I only saw men and, I mean, not naked, but in their underwear. But anyway, so they're going, okay, go ahead, come down the stairs. And all of a sudden I was with another couple and they separated us and they took us like, sat us away from each other. You also celebrate yesterday wedding uh -huh. and today celebrate with happy karma. Yes. Understand? Yes. Raj place. Yeah. Shoes open, go down, respect. We were doing this whole blessing thing and um, which I thought was nice. They were calling on Lakshmi and all kinds of stuff. Make wish for your life, for your family. <coughs> then you have husband together, then you come with together. Right. But then towards the end, they start saying that we have to pay all this money. Like they said, oh, you can pay 10,000 rupees. And that's like 170 US dollars, something like that. I didn't even have mu really much money on me because I just checked out of the palace and I'd left money for tips. And I didn't have that much money on me anyway. And anyway, I wouldn't leave that. It says there's a donation box. That light is like messing this up. There's a donation box. So, you know, you give a donation, of course. But he was being ridiculous. He was like, you're from the U.S., just give us dollars. And these are supposed to be um, enlightened men, like um, holy men. And this guy was totally slimy and a jerk. And he was like, 
you can feed so many people for this many days and your friends are giving ten thousand dollars and i'm like ten thousand um rupees and i said no they're not let me talk to them no 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 you can't go to them you can't go to them so come on how much are you going to give and he's got this coconut in my hand and he's pouring this holy water on or the lake water and he's saying you know tell um the god what how much money you're going to give so how much are you going to give how much are you going to give and he's just pushing it. it was like so slimy and gross and i was getting madder and madder because you don't do that that was like totally ruining everything and then he was totally expecting that we're supposed to give all this money and being really pushy about it and on top of it i didn't have it i said i don't know how much i'll give when i get up to the donation box i will see how much i'm going to give I think I caught another mosquito. I hope I caught this mosquito because he looks like he has a big stinger. You don't want to get stung by mosquitoes here in India. I surely don't, that's for sure. I don't even know if washing them down the sink is doing anything because the drain is much bigger. Man, I just really, I just need peace. So anyway, long story short, because that guy was just like all over me. How much are you going to give? It has to be part of the mantra. Like, oh, really? And so I finally I go, here, take your coconut. Why can't I catch this mosquito? Oh, I got him. He has a big old stinger. We're not at the palace anymore, that's for sure. But I am grateful for this room. Um, anyway... So I'm like, take your coconut back. I don't need your blessing. You can take your blessing back. I don't need it. And he's like, your karma, your karma. I said, I don't care about my karma. This is not going to affect my karma. And I was like, I want to see my friends. And he was trying to stop me. And I'm like, get away from me. I was so mad. He was like totally bullying me. So I get up and I walk over to my friends. I go, are you giving? Because they said that one of my friends, um, the ones that were getting married, they gave 10000 The other ones gave 5000 I said, how do you know? And he goes, they told me. Like, okay, how does he know? He was sitting there with me. So I said, are you giving 5000 And then she's um, going, well, apparently, um, or something like that. And I think um, she was going to give 2000 and then her husband ended up giving 5000 It was just like crazy because they were totally slimy, pressuring, and you didn't know what the hell was going on. And I'm like, well, I don't have that kind of money to give, and I'm glad I didn't. And I said, I'll give a little, but I'm not doing that. And you know what? I don't even care about this. This is disgusting. I'm so pissed off right now. So I walked up the stairs with my friends to get out of there. And they're still talking. I said, get away from me. Get away from me. I don't care about you or your blessing. <coughs> donation is supposed to be a donation. You should be grateful for what anyone gives you. Nobody's donating like that. Like, what are you doing? Just like praying on your, praying on tourists. And obviously it's not going to the people there, begging and dirty. And I mean, not everybody was like that, but there was a lot of people like if they were feeding them as much as people were donating, they would be, they would be doing very well. So anyway, <coughs> we left that place and went to the other temple that was like supposed to be so fantastic. It, I mean, granted it's, it was cool, but I was just expecting something that was so like, I don't know, I was just expecting that it was going to be ground because we were told to dress up and everything and we didn't. We didn't really, there was other rooms and stuff that you could see, so it probably was really cool. But at that point, I had a bad taste in my mouth from the experience, and people were trying to get us to take us around so you knew they were going to scam you for money, and I just wasn't into it. And I was like, I'm not doing the tour. 
you know, I went and put my, went up and paid my respects and rang the bell. I couldn't reach the bell, so Charlie did it for me. And then we left because um, I just didn't want anyone else hassling me for money. Bought a few things and um, actually, I had to definitely get him and I got a bunch of pendants with him and everywhere you go, you see him. Uh, lots of temples um, dedicated to him. We went to one which you'll see the video and are you already saw the video so these are the ones i got today in that crazy little town and a few of these are gifts they're really cute huh um i was really happy about these and i bought some oh man look at these I bought these in Japur. I had them specially made, and I'm really happy with them. But look at this Lakshmi. This is um, prayer beads. Hold on. These are prayer beads and um, a Lakshmi pendant with uh, rose quartz. Isn't it amazing? It's so pretty. Hold on, I'm getting hot water now. And here's my Kali one with uh, Labradorite, which is like a really powerful space stone. Anyway, they're really beautiful. <coughs> and um, I got several other pendants like that. So anyway, I got a, gotten a lot of like really cool little, I don't know, these, oh, I should show you those bracelets too. I got some really cool ohm bracelets. But anyway, let's see, I don't remember where I was with the story. <coughs> I'm still sick. I don't remember where I was with the story because um, since I was last videotaping, my phone ran out of room and I've been nursing my throat and got some hot water and some lemon and thank goodness I brought raw honey with me. So I had a little of that and I'm trying to send some emails, but the internet is so damn slow. Can't stand the internet here. But anyway, after that whole city thing we got into the the bus and they took us instead of going back to the main highway he took us through all these little tiny cities like i mean little cities um they're like really villages it reminds me of mexico and and you know you're going like 25 miles per hour and it took us i don't even know how many hours i would say seven hours and it should have only taken us three or four hours and so he goes, oh, I didn't go back to the highway because that was 200 um, meter. I don't know if it was meters, but 200 instead of 160. And I'm like, yeah, but we can go faster there and it won't take as long. And it was torturous. absolutely torturous for all of us and I'm sick and so I was like I'm so miserable and I didn't want to drink anything because I didn't want to have to go to the bathroom there because on the way because of all of the you're definitely going to go in a gross bathroom that's a hole in the ground and I wasn't up for that and um lots of like speed bumps or speed bumps are like five speed bumps in a row I mean it was just nauseating it reminded me of once when I was with my long time long term relationship and we were in Mexico and we had gone to uh Chichen Itza and the pyramid in the Yucatan and you could pay to take the high the road the the highway forty dollars or you could take the going through all the towns and I don't we decided to go through the towns and we regretted it so bad it was 
very similar to what we did tonight, and it was just giving me these flashbacks. I just remember that that night we were doing that. It took us forever, and it had lots of speed bumps, and I was sick that, that night, too. And uh, someone else in the um, group tonight was also getting sick, and she was feeling sick. It was just horrible. Everybody was just like, oh, my gosh, is this ever going to end? And then we finally got here. <laughs> I can puke right now. I'm going to. If, it, if I don't throw up too, it's a miracle. It's a miracle to have such a sweating brain booster. And they were all going to go eat, and I was just like, I, <coughs> I just need to go to bed, seriously. I just need to go to my room and take a shower and chill out. I feel so sick. I've had no downtime. Today it was supposed to be an easy day, and it was horrid. So, I don't, like I said, I don't even know what city we're in. I don't even know the name of this hotel. I really don't know anything except that it was a really horrible drive. When we, we were getting here, they couldn't find the hotel. And I said, I just feel like I'm going to throw up. I feel so sick. And um, one of my friends who was feeling the same way, she was something about why, like, you know, what's wrong? And I said, this drive is disgusting. And everybody started laughing. They're like, that's a good way to describe it. I said... It's hot, it's it's dirty, it's long, it's speed bumps, I'm nauseous, I feel like throwing up. It was just absolutely horrible, and I feel horrible right now. Absolutely horrible. So I'm going to put some thieves all over my feet and my chest again and get some sleep. I think that we're going to an Indian cooking class tomorrow afternoon, and I hate to waste a whole day in the room, but... I need some sleep, so I don't know what's up. Anyway, this trip has been really something, I'll tell you that. Okay, y'all, I'll talk, check in with you tomorrow. Bye.